dear students assalamu alaikum i welcome you in another lecture video of the course unit conversion the unit conversion which we are going to do today is pressure unit conversions it is also one of the most important unit conversions just like energy and other conversions so uh, let's start seeing the conversions i have written all the most importantly used units of pressure here you can see that 1 atm equals to 760 millimeter of mercury equals to 760 tor it's our first relationship it is mostly used relationship of pressure so uh, it's better that you uh, remember all these uh, units uh, all these pressure units by heart right students the second relation is done bar equals to 10 to the power 5 pascal then 1 atm equals to 101 325 pascal and then 1 pascal equals to newton per meter square this means that i can say that 1 atm equals to 101 newton per meter square instead of pascal i can write newton per meter square as well and finally 1 atm equals to 14.7 psi there are also other units uh, of uh, pressure and other uh, so many relationships of pressure as well but these are the most common uh, used units and also the most common conversions so i have written all these conversions here it's better if you remember these conversions by heart then comes the unit of power that is 1 hp equals to 746 watt we are not going to do the conversions of power but we will require this hp equals to 7 1 hp equals to 746 watt uh, relationship while doing these pressure conversions so our first question is how many kilowatt hour are there in 10 atm liter if we see the question clearly this atm is the unit of pressure whereas this liter is the unit of volume and this kilowatt hour hour it's the unit of energy so we have uh, discussed all these units in the previous videos if you haven't watched the previous videos please go and watch all the previous videos so uh, that you can understand these questions easily right students so if we start solving this question i have written it like this 1 atm liter uh, sorry 10 atm liter now if i see the question clearly instead of this atm i can write that 1 atm equals to 101325 newton per meter square so let's write this 1 atm because i have to cancel this atm so i will write the atm term uh, here in the divide section and the 101325 newton per meter square in multiplication section newton per meter square right students so this atm will cancel out this atm next i know that this liter is the uh, unit of volume i have to cancel this liter as well and also this meter square as well so i remember that while doing volume conversions we uh, uh, read a relationship that was 1 meter cube equals to 1000 liter so to cancel out this meter square i have to write the meter term here 1 meter cube equals to 1000 liter so it will cancel out this liter and this meter square will be cancelled out by this meter cube and only one meter will remain now the remaining units which i have to cancel are newton meter right so uh, and for getting this kilowatt hour i have to use the units of energy so we remember that we studied while doing energy conversions that one joule equals to one newton meter or we can say that one joule is the product of newton meter to so to cancel out this newton i know that the newton term will come here in divide section so one joule i'm going to write the relationship like this equals to newton meter so this will cancel out this newton and also this meter will be cancelled out by this meter so now i have the uh, joule that is the unit of energy and now by using this joule unit i will get this kilowatt hour 
So, we remember that 1 joule equals to watt dot second. So, this will cancel out, this joule will be cancelled out by this and we remember that uh, because we are not asked for seconds, we are asked for hour. So, to convert this second into hour, we know that one hour contain 3600 seconds. So, 3600 seconds are there in one hour. So, this will cancel out this second. I have got this hour. Now I have to uh, work for this kilo and this, sorry, we have got watt and hour. Now we have to work for this kilo. So we know that 1 kilo is 10 to the power 3. Right, students? So now it is my uh, answer uh, sorry it is my solution to this problem and now if we solve how are we going to solve it then multiply by 1 1 3 25 multiply by uh, you can write 1 but 1 doesn't make uh, any difference to your answer so you can skip 1 divided by 1000 multiply by 3600 multiply by 10 exponent 3 so you will get 2.81 exponent minus 4 kilowatt hour which means that there will be 2.81 exponent minus 4 kilowatt hour in 10 atm liter right students uh, now let's start solving our second question that is how many hp will be there in 7000 barrel dot mm of hg per air so for this question we will require this power uh, conversion okay so we remember that barrel this barrel is the unit of volume whereas mm of mm hg is the unit of pressure air is obviously time and we have to convert this unit to hp that is the unit of power right students so our first step is to write it like this 70,000 barrel dot mmhg per year like this so students we remember that we read one barrel equals to 42 gallon so just write it one barrel equals to 42 gallons so this barrel will cancel out this barrel then we studied or we saw the relationship that one barrel uh, one gallon equals to 3.786 liter so one gallon equals to 3.786 liter so this gallon will be cancelled out by this gallon. Now, uh, we know that one meter cube contain 1000 liter. So 1000 liter equals to one meter cube or we can say one meter cube equals to 1000 liter. So this liter will be cancelled out by this liter. Now I am, I have to uh, use this meter cube. I have to cancel out this meter cube, I have to uh, uh, cancel this air and I have to cancel this millimeter of mercury. Uh, whereas we know that this HP it's the unit of power so I have to go in, uh, I have to change these units anyhow uh, in such unit where I can get the unit of power so that I can get my HP. So uh, let's cancel out this unit first. Uh, 760 millimeter of mercury equals to uh, 1 atm right so this will cancel this mm of hg so 1 atm equals to 760 mm hg 
so this MMHG will be cancelled out by this MMHG then students we know that one ATM equals to 101325 Pascal or we can say Newton per meter square so this ATM will be cancelled out by this ATM and this meter square will cancel out meter square right so we have one meter remaining here uh, one Newton remaining here so we remember that one joule equals to one Newton meter so we can write one joule equals to one Newton meter this will cancel out this Newton and this meter will cancel out this meter now I have the unit joule to which I can easily convert this joule to HP how I know that one joule equals to watt dot second or we can say one joule is the product of watt dot second right so this will cancel out this joule will cancel out this joule and then one we know that one HP equals to 746 watt so one HP equals to 746 sorry one 746 watt are there in 1 HP so this watt will be cancelled out this by this watt so students we have got this HP which was my required unit but I have to cancel this air in second so we know that one air contains 365 days so this air will be cancelled out by this air one day contain 24 hour so this day is cancelled by this day and one hour contain 3600 seconds so this hour is cancelled out by this hour and this second is cancelled by this second multiply all these uh, 7000 multiplied by 42 multiplied by 3.786 multiplied by 101325 uh, divided by 1000 into 760 into 746 into 365 into 24 into 3600 do let me know the answer in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section